What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scythe Reptile and today we're going to be playing another mobile game. Don't necessarily know if we're going to start a series of it, probably just random videos, but shut up dude. I like it, okay? It's called Dungeon Hunter 5. Funny enough, the only reason that I even heard about this game was because I saw it on Keymailer that it was coming out to Steam soon. And it was like, hey, that kind of looks like a mobile game. And I mean, what can I say? I, I like mobile games, man. So this is kind of a top down, like it's not a free to play game, which is awesome about phone games. Of course it can end up being pay to win. And again, I don't know if we're gonna end up doing more videos than just this one, but uh, I also finally figured out a way that I can actually hear the sounds. I'm kind of excited for this game to be coming out on PC, honestly, because I just generally am starting to enjoy like these types of games a lot more where they're just a grind fest. And basically what we're doing is it's just Diablo, but like on the phone, which ironically has me excited. Like you guys got phones, right? I'm excited for, uh, I'm excited for Diablo Immortal, dude. That's going to be fun. So I have no idea what the story is. I have no idea what the goal of the game is or anything like that. We're just, I don't know, fighting things, fighting gargoyles. I, I literally wasn't fighting gargoyles like the mission just before this, so... <laughs> I don't know why I'm fighting them now, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. So we got a special ability. We've got just our basic attack. We've got a roll, and thankfully they all kind of stack. So you can see the fireball on the right side of the screen. We've got two charges, so we can shoot it once. If we're up close and personal, it does a lightning attack instead. Now we gotta wait for it to fully charge. We can roll up to three times as well. And there are apparently pots too. And I mean, it controls just fine. So what, you know? Uh, plus, not to mention, like, I think the big reason why I like games like this and why I'm actually excited about it is because Diablo 3 to me is just not appealing in the least anymore. Like, I've already played through the game so many times. You know, I already know everything about it and have gotten far enough in it. What the? Is that Thanos' glove? What are you doing with that? Oh, no, she's got the soul stone or whatever. What? What? Why did it freeze? Okay, well anyways, boss time. I'm I'm down for that. Defeat the gatekeeper guardian. All right. What is he doing? Get over here. I don't know why these characters are talking to me too. Like I can I please make them shut up? Ha! It's going to be nice to play this with a mouse and keyboard if we can convert our characters over. I know that it's just a grindy pay to win game, okay? Leave me alone. I like games like this. What can I say? I mean, for crying out loud, I played the game called Troll for like 4 years. So, it's perfectly fine. Uh, are these guys actually... Yeah, they're hurting me quite a bit. So, let's just instant heal with that pot. That's the first time I've used a pot. And, oh my goodness gracious, it just healed us right away. Not like slow healing or anything like that. Ooh, loot chest. Anything good? I don't know how the loot works in this game. Like, it's kind of got the same as those tap tap mobile games. Where it's like... Fire beats, uh, you know, beats plants, beats blah, 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 friend slot. <laughs> Why am I leveling up to increase my friend slot? Apparently, we got to be level 30 before we can actually play with other people. So that's kind of cool. That means that potentially if I end up actually playing this game further than that, uh, you guys could end up playing this with me. So I kind of like that. Complete instantly. Pay money to complete a quest instantly. Why? There, where's the gameplay? You know, like why... Why would I ever do that? What is this? You can only equip something. Okay, is this me equipping my little friend here? Test them out in the field and see what. I don't really care. So there was all of the other like. Uh, Are you the leader of the? Yeah, I'm the leader. I don't know what he's saying. I think we're slowly losing charges here too, which is probably like our limited amount of dungeon grinding or something like that. I don't even know. Uh, back items, belts, and bracers. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The thing is, like, gear in this game is, it's different. Because it's like, what we're actually putting on is gear for the sake of a weakness of an enemy type of thing. There are different weapons, though. Like, our character's kind of just a pervert, apparently. Uh, our character, like, we're using two-handed weapons, but we don't actually, like need to use two-handed or uh, dual wielding i mean dual wielding like we could actually uh we had ranged but i actually don't have any of them equipped because i'm a scrub and i just haven't gone into any of the menus or anything like that die goblins 
This also reminds me of like Champs of Norath or I, I don't know, maybe like Path of Exile and stuff, but like a mobile equivalent, which is why I like it. I know I just keep saying that, but really, I, I like mobile games, okay? Leave me alone. Also, this guy that's with us, I guess they're trying to get us used to. Like, that's probably what, uh, that's probably what co-op is like. Or something. What was that weird weapon that we ended up getting? Hey, get out of here, you! I got my dual-wielding Swords of Destiny. I do wish that there was, like, the same game, but, like, actual classes and, like, different tiers of armor and stuff like that. I mean, there might be. I don't really, like... I don't really know this game very well. I like how the loot dropped out of the chest after we went further than it. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so we lost out on the item, dude. Why? That third, that fourth in our combo, by the way, like, oh my gosh, the reach on it. Like, look at that. It just literally like throws our sword like across the entire screen. Go find your contact near the gem brewery. I don't know what's happening. Hey man, what's up? When did I get this back shield item? What the? Yeah, I don't really care. I'm sorry. I'm gonna skip all the dialogue because it just doesn't bother me. Oh my gosh, we're fighting the demon hunter from Diablo 3! Never mind. Yeah, you killed a bounty hunter. Yeah, okay. I mean, I was just one-shotting all these guys like in the level beforehand. I think I can do it again. Like, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. Get okay, maybe not. Maybe they're not all getting one shot, but is she just gonna come back and then we fight her? Like I like how Mavzer is sitting there just chilling, and it's like, dude, I don't know. Oh, that was a bad thing. And it's like, dude, I don't know whose health is the enemy health bar because our comrade has the same red that they do. Oh, so we don't actually fight her. I guess it's like a recurring recurring boss or something like that. What did we get? I should check our gear. Tap to skip. Yeah, I don't care. See, look at that. We got like all these different clothes and stuff. This ally helped you. Would you like to send an ally request to this player? Excuse me? No. Okay, so that's your friends. Maybe, maybe it's like, I know you can play co-op at like later levels, but maybe right now it's like just grabbing other people's, like other players accounts or something and having them control as a bot. Invade your enemy's stronghold and defend yours with dangerous minions and deadly traps. Oh, so this is the part that kind of worried me because I think we can start losing our stuff while we're offline. I'm not sure. Like, I'm kind of scared. All right, let's test it. Minions uh, generate gold and court. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really, okay. We can raid people. I don't really want to, but your scouts have returned with enemy. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can always pay your scout to find a new stronghold to raid. Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> No! <laughs> Bad game. All right, let's see if we can... Can I change my armor or anything? It won't let us because it's tutorializing us, so we have to do it. Seek worthy opponents to attack. Eradicate all their stronghold defenses and earn stronghold stones, gourds, uh, and league points. Okay, so maybe we're not stealing stuff from other players. Maybe we're just doing dungeons by other players or something, which is... That's cool. That arguably gives this game infinite content, you know? Okay, that guy like literally did nothing to us. He might have just exploded right there, but it didn't do anything. That's all my dungeon is. Dude, everyone's gonna steal all my stuff. Like, <laughs> there is no way that that's going to protect, pe protect me from losing things. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, there was a fusion items and stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much like, that's the end game is grabbing all this junk. Oh no, we've completed the tutorial and I don't know anything about this game. What the? Ah! What's happening to my screen? Can I please go equip? Stop it! Stop! Why am I getting so many? Go away! I don't want to spend money on your stupid shop. Okay? I spent money on enough games already. Here, let me check out... Uh... I like how all this armor is pretty much the same. I'm equipping this fire armor because look at him. Just look at him. Isn't he a baller? Like, dude, he looks so cool. Do we have any other weapons here? Oh my gosh, we've got this? That's like way stronger than the other sword that we had. So that's where you can see it's doing like blue, so that's ice damage. Which is like really good. Oh man, our bow does way better than even our sword. Huh. Okay. No items available. Well, whatever. Let me just, can I just, okay, can I... 
Uh-huh. There we go. Let's do... Yeah, see, co-op's all the way on the left there at level 30, which, yikes. Let's do another solo adventure. Oh, no, we got double XP going on, too. Oh, because you can pay money for it. I get it. It's a cash shop game. Yeah, let's just do a normal version of the dungeon. I guess that's cool that you can do, like, you know, different versions of each dungeon. I like that guy on the right there. I like two-handed swords, man. How do I do it? How do I get something that's not just dual wielding? Oh no, the door closed behind me. How do I change my weapon? There's like a button for it. There we go. Ha! -ha! Now I've got my arrows. This will be way stronger than the other weapon, apparently. Okay, that was actually pretty OP. Not to mention range is just always good in these games. I don't care about your cutscenes, weird magic lady. I'm gonna go for this chest. Oh my gosh, did you see that spike trap? It almost hit me. Just kidding. Why does it take so long for these items to drop? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can't get it. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just auto giving it to us. Uh, whatever. I don't quite understand what's happening. I see all these enemies kind of spawning in just out of thin air, but I'll take it. Get him. Uh, Gal Galgamagub, whatever his name is. I don't even know what our comrade's name is. Um, who keeps like going all over the screen? Like, what was that? He just just freaking out. Yes. Oh, I can just hold down the attack. I'm a scrub. I keep tapping it like an idiot. You guys have bows, but that's not really gonna help you. Apparently, my poison bow is like way stronger. That's the thing too. Like, I don't know anything about this game, so it's like. We're probably supposed to be using different elemental weaknesses, uh, depending on the area. I think we're actually doing weak damage with this. That's why we're not, like, one-shotting them. Because I think these enemies are fire, and we're using grass, which is, like, the fire is, like, the strength against it. So I don't think we're doing, like, that much good damage or anything. Oh, that's a spike trap. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. What the? Oh, gosh. Get over here, you little goblin freaks. Give me that gold, too. Ha! That was so clutch, just rolling over that trap, right? Nobody ever expected that. Oh, I can just keep going. <laughs> I thought that was like a wave defense or something, and I was supposed to just keep fighting things. Oh, no! A mini boss! Not really. I'm literally standing on a spike trap. Why was I standing on that? Oh, my gosh. What is that? Puke? Ugh! What do I do? What do I do here? Oh, uh, okay. There's the boss. And he's dead. There he goes. Oh, wait. This is... Okay, so that's like a weird enemy where there's a ghost that floats around. And if you don't end up destroying the ghost, he'll just... Uh, he'll, he'll just end up, like, being gross and uh, just keep rezzing that boss over and over. Gems! Okay, I could replay the mission for four lightning bolts. I don't know what that is. Google dark. No, thank you. I want to save my friend slots. What is all this? Play different dungeons every day to get stuff to evolve. Blah, blah, blah. I could create a guild. You've completed a mission. Okay. I'm getting all these weird. What are all these notifications? <laughs> Special. Ah, yes, of course. I can collect all sorts of items, even though I literally just started playing this game. Ah, nope. Nope, I don't know what that is. It's like achievements or something. Get out of my space. What is this? Even more items from achievements. Oh, those are dailies. So we ended up completing all those, I guess. And then here's the achievements. Okay. Collect all. We got a bunch of gold and other things. <laughs> I don't know what half of this is, but that's okay. I just want to... Where's the fusion? I think that's in the item. Yeah, fusion... Now what? Can I fuse all these together? I want to fuse this with a bunch of things. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm going to anyways. One, two, buckle my shoe. Sure. What's this going to do? That's going to cost a lot of money, but let's do it anyways. Brum, brum! That barely did anything, but... <laughs> 
Okay. I really don't know what I just did. Maybe I can put that into my main armor set or something. Let's, uh, what if I do this now? I'm so bad at these games. I'm just gonna destroy everything because I like the way that this armor set looks. So, take this. Yes! Oh my gosh, so many levels! Woo! Alright! I need to do that with weapons, though. That's a big thing. That's not bad. Okay, what about... Uh, here's our weapons. So... Oh, we got two... Oh, we're dual wielding boys. I see. I didn't know that. I thought that we were just... Huh. That's interesting. Well, either way, like I said, this might be a one-off video. Maybe we'll keep playing it. Uh, either way, it seems pretty cool. I, I still find it extremely confusing, but I just like the normal grinding and stuff. And so far, it seems like we might be able to just force our way through it. But I think that's going to do it for this, everybody. So that's uh, Dragon Hunter 5. You can download it for free on Android and I think iOS. And again, it's coming to Steam. I don't know if it's going to convert our characters over or anything like that. But either way, it's it's a cool enough game. Thanks for watching, though. Appreciate it. Sign on. Stay epic.